Hey there, welcome to Mike's Workbench where we're getting stuff done, learning as we go because I really don't know what the heck I'm doing. I'm literally learning as I go and hoping to just kind of pass along some things uh, to others who are starting this out and taking this up as a hobby just like I've done. So uh, here we are, we're in St. Michael's Forge, that's what I call my workshop area. I like to be a little pretentious. St. Michael's Forge, I... I'm just learning. So at any rate, tonight what we're going to be doing is this. I have, uh, it's my first time doing a double edge, double edge dagger. That's probably redundant, right? Dagger has two, two edges. Um, so here it is. There's the baby right there. And it was my first attempt. I'll talk a little bit about that in just a moment. Uh, but what we're going to be doing is this. I'm going to be normalizing the steel. This is 1095 steel here. We're going to put it in the even heat kiln. I have the LB18. It's just awesome unit uh, for doing knives. It has the, the tap interface. And I just set up the normalization cycle. So this is what I'm going with. I did a bunch of reading over the last day and a half about different people's opinions, how to normalize. What do you do? You do this, you do that. You do the hokey pokey, turn yourself around. What I've settled on is kind of what it, it seems like a, a pretty consistent uh, recommendation and something that I think uh, should work well for this. So what we're going to be doing is the following. And again, I am open to suggestions, crit criticism. So I don't feel like there's ownership in this. I'm learning as I go. So what we're going to be doing is the following. I've set up the schedule so that it's first going to ramp on up at full bore up to 550 degrees. When it hits 550 degrees, an alert's going to go off. That's what I set it up to do. I just love how it's awesome. Precision. Even heat kiln. Just awesome. So at 550 degrees, when the alert goes off, it's going to hold it for two minutes. That gives me time to open her up, stick my knife in, right? And uh, at that point, close it up, and then it is going to go to its next, at again, fast ramp. It's going to go up to 1575 precision, exact degrees. And it's going to hold it. I'll get an alert when it's reached that. And then it's going to hold it there for 10 minutes. Everything I read, they called it soaking the blade. So that should give it time for, you know, I, this came annealed, and from what I've read, it, you know, I've been reading about annealed versus normalized. Annealed, the grain is a bit bigger, um, and with it normalized, the grains are, are, are smaller, and it gets a tighter lock-in. So we are going to go ahead, and although a lot of folks, when they get these annealed, you know, the steel's annealed, they, they skip that and go straight to hardening. I want to play it safe. I want to do it. So I'm going to do that before I, you know, we're, it'll soak it for 10 minutes. Then another alert will go off. Letting me know it's time to pull the blade from the kiln and then we'll let it cool. Uh, I'm going to put it into the vermiculite for a nice, slow, easy, cool, you know, even cool down. It also supports the blade. I don't have anywhere to hang it. Um, so I have the bucket of vermiculite. We'll put that in there and let that go. Tomorrow, we'll worry about hardening and tempering. Before I do any of that though, we are gonna get out. Da, da, da. The Nuclear, Nuclear, not Nuclear, Nuclear. Nuclear, uh, No Scale 2000. I'll mix that up. I'm gonna put a nice coat while this is starting to heat and let that quick let that dry that's going to help it from scaling it's going to seal it from oxygen and you know keep the blade i had a lot of problems in the past putting blades into my forge and overheating and scaling and all that stuff so hopefully we should see a big improvement with that tonight so what we're going to do we're going to fire like i said fire that up it's all ready i got it all set um we'll go ahead I'll bring the camera on over and uh, show you what I've got set up. 
and then we'll get it cranking. All right, let's get moving. All right, so here we come on over to the Even Heat Kiln LB18. That stands for, in the interior here, we have 18 inches of clearance to the back for blades. And so now what we're gonna be doing, coming on up here, we're gonna go ahead and tap. I would use my phone app, but I'm using my phone to film. So here we go. So uh, if I click start, you'll notice it brings me here into this schedule. And there is the even heat uh, test that comes preset up on the unit. That's the one we ran the very first time when I fired it up. It brought it to 1,000 degrees, held it for, I think, four minutes, and then uh, brought it on down. Then I created my own test, which I've since deleted, which did similarly brought it on up to 1,800, then brought it back down. Tonight, though, we're going to be using this schedule, the Normalize. And as I said, the Normalize is going to bring it up to 550. An alarm will go off to let me know it's time. I'll then place the blade in here, right? Right in between those so it's vertical. It won't be laying flat. That's important. Um, and then uh, once it's in, I'll close it back up. It'll hold it there for two minutes and it'll bring it up, ramp on up to 1575. Another alarm will go off just to let me know it's at temp. Then once... Uh, you know, 10 minutes of soaking at that temperature has been achieved, it'll shut on down. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and then close this. We are ready to rock and roll. We'll select red. It's like, uh, you know, on my Beretta, red is the firing. So we got it red and we're gonna click start. And it says, would you like to delay a start? No, there we go. And with that, it's gonna to start to heat. Uh, the, those flickering that you see on this screen, that's not on this screen. It's the refresh rate uh, with the rate that I'm recording here. That's why you get a little of that. But here you go, you can see it's just starting and that'll slowly pick up speed. And you can see here it's saying 550 is my first set point. And let me bring that on down. And you can see here the whole time for that, two minutes. So that's all in this first stage, right? That's what it's going for first. And it says current step one of two, and then that'll flip on over. So we're going to go ahead and wait. There we go. So we got it open. And we're going to put the blade in like so. All right. So <laughs> you're wondering why I'm laughing. So evidently I slipped and I hit slow-mo um, after I started that cranking up. So this is what went on. So I started up the kiln, right? We had the two thing going. It was uh, coming up to the 550. I then went over, opened up the Nuclear 2000. And for its anti-scale, I uh, had to stir it up good. Then I applied it. Uh, but as I was getting ready to apply it, this thing started going off. It already hit 550. So lesson learned. Put on that before we crank it up, let it dry, and then start her up, right? So the even hit kiln, I mean, it, that, it's like off to the races. So it, it hit 550, lickety split. So having said that, um, now it's on its way up to 1575. We are at... Uh, 1029, 130, and climbing. There we go. And so it'll be there fairly uh, short order. I will make sure I do not hit slow mo again. I, I don't know how I did that. And uh, then when it hits, it will get a 10 minute warning. We'll get a warning when it hits temp. It'll soak for 10 minutes. And then at the end of that 10, it'll give another warning where it's going to cycle down. But we're gonna go ahead at that point, pull the blade, and I will have my uh, vermiculite sitting out here and ready. So there we are. So I gotta go through and delete some slow-mo videos before my editing. Oh boy. All right, so you probably can't hear it, but the alert has gone off. It's begun its 10 minute soak time now, holding at 10.75. So I'll go ahead, it has a little thing here. Uh, yeah, 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 I'll say, okay. There we go, that stops the alarm. 
So it's going to hold that. Uh, in the meantime, what I've done is got out the vermiculite. It's right over here. You can't see it, but it's sitting over there open, ready for me to just turn around, place the blade in there. I also started uh, sketching out a next knife, just some real rough. You can't even see, <laughs> see that. My light, as all this went on, uh, it's either the plug or the light. I don't know what it is, but it, it went out, the ring light. So that's all right. But I'm just trying to get some ideas. Uh, you know, I'm figuring this much for the handle and then the blade. I want to make sure I have plenty of handle. I've been, my wife's <laughs> let me know about that a couple of times. But uh, I thought that the steel that I had over here was two inches. It's actually an inch and a half. So I had to adjust. I had a nice pattern I wanted to do on that. I'm having to slim it down. So that's what we'll do. I'm going to do that. In the meantime, once I get this forge though up and forge press from Clark Iron uh, Forge up and running, then I'll be able, I got all that spring steel there. I'm going to be, I'm going to be doing some things, getting that steel ready for using. But in the meantime, we'll wait. We've got, it says eight minutes. And so we'll catch you back in a few minutes. All right, so you can see the alarm has gone off. It's just warning me there's, it was on the two minute countdown. So we're gonna let it get all the way down. And it says the whole time for step two is nearly passed. So plenty of preemptive warning. I'm just gonna say, okay. And uh, in a minute and a half, we're gonna open this baby up. We'll take her out. And she's gonna go right into that vermiculite right down there to do a nice slow cool. A nice even cool <laughs> then tomorrow we'll hit the uh, hardening and tempering all right there we go the heat cycle is done so we are going to open this baby up and here we go oh yeah nice and toasty look at that blade oh she's beautiful huh grab that nice and carefully Oh yeah, what do you think, huh? And now we'll take that right down to here into the vermiculite. There we go. And we'll just let it cool. The even heat kiln's gonna cool down on its own. I'll close her up here. And uh, we are done with our business for the night. All right, so that's it. The even heat kiln is cooling down. Knife is in the vermiculite. Uh, cooling, we got it right to, uh, I've never done this before, right? So again, precision. I've always just done things in my forge and I love, love my Mr. Volcano forge. I really do. I got to still put these other two together. I was waiting for it to warm up a bit uh, for doing that out in the driveway. But um, the thing is when you're, you know, that's great for heating it up and smashing and pounding and doing all that and using this forge press I got. But when you want to get things for the hardening, it, you know, if at all possible, it's, you know, it's just nice to have this even heat kiln um, because it's precise. I mean, you know, look what I was able to do. I had it ramp on up to 550. It let me know, put the blade in and then brought it up to 1575, held it for 10 minutes at that. Let me know, I took it out, it's cooling down, everything precise. So, you know, that's the key I, for some of this. Just real consistent, allows me to do things precise that I couldn't do before, and I am very excited. So that's my first blade in the even heat. I'm very happy. So tomorrow, like I said earlier, we will take and we're gonna bring it on up we're going to do some different settings. I've been looking at a number of different ones to run, but we're going to first heat it up to the proper temp for hardening. Um, essentially heat it up. We'll quench it, let it cool for, you know, uh, a little bit till it gets about 120 degrees. Then we'll put it back in the even heat kiln for tempering. So we're going to be able to do one after the other. Uh, that's going to be a number of hours. That'll give me some time to do some other stuff out here, some straightening up. In the meantime, I've got an idea on my next knife, at least the blade part. 
So I've been slowly sketching on it. And uh, there we go. So that's actually based off of a spike knife that I did that I really like. And a little bit longer on the blade. And then uh, the handle will be, of course, I still got to figure out what I want to do for a handle treatment. But uh, yeah, that's going to be the basic shape of that particular baby. And I think I can do some variations off that. So time well spent. With that, it is getting late. Um, it is now, what time is it? It is 9.08. Time for me to head in, get cleaned up, uh, get ready for bed in a bit. And um Get ready for Friday work. So I hope you had a great day, great night. As always, if you have any questions, comments, critiques, I am wide open. I'm just learning as we go. So that's Mike here and Mike's, for Mike's Workbench here in St. Michael's Forge. Learning as we go, making mistakes, but having fun. With that, have a good night. Take care as always. Ciao.